Alright, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Buckus for the win, bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I'm giving you guys the gameplay and um, just a rundown of the fully evolved uh, 94 overall Diamond Desmond Mason. Um, so if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, um, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I would appreciate it a lot. But getting straight into this card, first off, the way you get this card is you have to play triple threat offline and you have to grind to get 100 wins um, I would say if you dedicate enough time each day and I would say you try to go for between 10 to 20 wins every day it'll take you like two three days probably um, to get this card um, by getting the 100 wins and then to evolve it to a diamond you have to have 1500 points I do believe you have to have a hundred dunks and a hundred threes, and then I think you have to play. I think it's 50 games with this card. But um, this card's very nice. Uh, this card is a. Um, this card can shoot somewhat once you upgrade him to a diamond. He has an 84 three and an 87 mid range. Um, so like if he's open, he can make it most of the time. But his primary use definitely is not for shooting. Um, his primary uses is definitely for slashing. Uh, he has a 97 driving dunk, and he has that driving dunk um, without <laughs> without um, like even being upgraded to a diamond. Um, he has three Hall of Fame badges that uh, all involve uh, like dunking. He has like Showtime um, and like Fast Break Finisher, um, and then one other. Um, one other dunking um, Hall of Fame badge, and then he has 27 gold badges, and uh, he's just an all-around like solid card. Obviously, you get him for free just by grinding Triple Threat and then grinding to um, evolve him. This year, for the no money spent, you know, uh, grinder in my team, uh, there's more rewards than ever um, with Triple Threat offline with domination. Uh, triple Threat Online, Unlimited, Challenges, um, and then obviously like the Evolution cards. Like you can buy right now um, an Evolution multi-dimensional promo card, uh, Daryl Armstrong, uh, as a Sapphire. And he goes for like three, 4,000 MT. And you can get him evolved all the way to an Amethyst. And right now he's going for about in between 40 to 50k MT. So if you didn't end up wanting them, uh, you could always just end up selling them and putting them on the auction house. Um, but I'm showing you guys triple threat gameplay with this card. Um, this card, like I said, slasher uh, first. Um, definitely um, you're going to make more shots and be more successful with this card if you're trying to drive to the basket. Um his dunking is so nice. He has some really nice dunk animations. And also, I believe he has a Chase Down Artist on gold. That's one of his gold badges. And I believe he, he might also have Pogo Stick. Um, and so this card um, is really good on both ends of the court. Um, obviously, with his athleticism, um, he's able to uh, get up there with a lot of the guards that he'll have to guard. No pun intended. And hopefully that didn't sound weird but um he's able to sort of compete with them on an athleticism level um but yeah 100 games triple threat offline you get the amethyst and then i posted a video yesterday um showing you guys the best method um to evolve your cards faster now um it's not a great method if you're trying to do like other things at the same time if you're trying to like continue to grind triple threat offline you know to get like diamond jason williams which i just uh recently uh just last night got and probably going to be doing gameplay with here soon um or if you're trying to get jamal crawford or if you're trying to get those tokens that are on the board or you know whatever or if you're trying to play domination it's not the best method um but it definitely um is the best method if the only thing you're focusing on is evolving cards um, which evolving cards obviously is a huge thing in this game you get rewards in the agenda for evolving cards 
and some of the better cards you can get in the game, especially for someone who's, you know, not spending money on packs, because I'm not spending money on packs. I will be giving you guys a video of my lineup uh, here soon. Um, my lineup, I would say, is very, very good, especially considering uh, the fact that I'm no money spent. Um, like, a lot of the no money spent people on YouTube still have, like, sapphires, and, like, some, some even have, like, emeralds in their lineups. I don't have a single sapphire or emerald in my lineup. Every card I have in my lineup is at least an 88 overall or higher. Um, and all I've done is grind. That's all I've done. I've grinded triple threat offline, I've grinded triple threat online, and I've done challenges, and then I played a little bit of my team unlimited. I've barely played any domination. I find domination to be very boring. Um, I will eventually do it, obviously, because there's a lot of good rewards. You get good MT, you get good players. Um, so obviously I will end up doing it eventually. I'll just have to try to find the motivation to do it. Um, I know a lot of people probably feel the same way, that dominations are really boring. Um, but that's not what this video is about, obviously. Um, as you guys can see in the background, um, Desmond Mason is playing great. Um, obviously, I'm trying to score with him as much as possible. I have all 20 points with him. Um, I'm purposely getting him the ball over and over again and trying to score. I will admit, the guy that I was playing uh, isn't the greatest, and he didn't have the greatest team. He still had a gold in his lineup. He had gold Lonzo. And then he had Sapphire Shaq, which Shaq, that Shaq card is a very good card um, for, like, a budget baller, especially if, like, you've only been playing the game for, like, a couple days. If you can pick him up on the auction house for, like, 4 or 5K MT, it's not a bad cop. Um, and then he had Clay Thompson, which Clay Thompson's a pretty good ruby. He plays good defense, and obviously he can shoot. Um, but, yeah, I ended up dropping 22 points. I shot 9 for 14 and 4 for 7 from 3. If you can get his jumper down also, he has a very, very good jumper. Um, so <laughs> do be aware of that. But I am going to actually get into detail of his badges right now. So he has Fast Break Finisher, Lob City Finisher, and Showtime all on Hall of Fame. Um, and then he has Acrobat on Gold, Consistent Finisher on Gold, Contact Finisher on Gold, Fancy Footwork on Gold, Relentless Finisher on Gold, Slither Finisher on Gold, Tear Dropper. Um, and then for shooting, he has six badges, Catch and Shoot, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Slippery Off Ball, Steady Shooter, and Volume Shooter all in Gold. He has nine playmaking, Ankle Breaker, Downhill, Flashy Passer, Handles for Days. Um, Lob City Passer, Quick First Step, Space Creator, Stop and Go, Tight Handles. And he has five defense rebounding, including chase down, uh, pick dodger, pogo stick. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to like and sub, and I'll see you.